tonight on Gopher Football with Jerry Kill. Get the latest analysis direct from head coach Jerry Kill. You know, we're working in the right direction and uh, we certainly played, uh, you know, better running the football. Plus, get an exclusive preview of Brick by Brick, an all-access behind-the-scenes web series about your Golden Gophers. And Coach Kill prepares you for this weekend with a film breakdown of the Western Illinois Leathernecks. When they played Iowa State, some of those teams, uh, they, let it, they let it go now. They blitzed a bunch, so we anticipate them blitzing and trying to you know, make havoc on us. It's your weekly look inside Golden Gopher football, and it starts right now. Welcome to the latest edition of Gopher Football with Jerry Kill. It's your weekly look inside the Golden Gopher Football Program, and I'm your host, Natalie Nias. For the second week in a row, the Gophers battled through a sweltering night game and came away with the W. New Mexico State had no answer for Minnesota's rushing attack. Roderick Williams started in place of injured Donnell Kirkwood and ran for 148 yards and a touchdown. As a team, the Gophers rushed for 342 yards and beat the Aggies by 23 points. To take us through all of Thursday's action, Mike Max joins head coach Jerry Kill in the Hall of Fame room. Thanks very much. It was a decisive win. It was the kind of win a head coach likes. A couple teachable moments, but still a lot of confidence gained. Jerry Kill, the head coach, joins us right now to talk about just that. Coach, you went to a high altitude. You went to New Mexico State. They had beaten you here a couple of years ago. I assume that it was going to be that kind of right away. You wanted to be fundamentally sound and send a message, and you had to work for it the first half, but you did. You stayed with that plan. Yeah, it was, uh, it was very warm. I have to tell you that. That's as hot as it's been since uh, I've been coaching. But our kids, I think, you know, handled it pretty well. And, uh, you know, we, what, we had a plan going in. We made, uh, you know, a mistake uh, on the goal line. It cost us some points with a misalignment. Uh, it's back-to-back -back weeks that we got to get things fixed. But uh, we were able to run the ball, which was important. Uh, you know, you take six, six or seven plays off offense and defense and really played well in the kicky game again, we'd really feel really good. But, uh, you know, we still make some young players mistakes, so to speak, and we've got to get those fixed. But still, you know, a couple penalties, uh, and again, not a lot of errors. So, uh, you know, I think we're, you know, we're working in the right direction, and uh, we certainly played, uh, you know, better running the football. Our two, two backs who, you know, I think everybody was concerned about what was going to happen, Daniel including Kirk me. Out, they yeah. played well. They really played well. Well, Roderick Williams, is that not the epitome of what Jerry Kill wants his football team to be about? A big back like that that's going to mix up at the line of scrimmage and just keep coming at him. And if you can get some momentum with that, and I think back when you had Brandon Jacobs and some of those people, is you just keep pounding it with a guy like that? And I think you look back at the, the Gophers with Barber and, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, uh, Maroney and those type of backs. And, you know, David Cobb's also a 225, 230 pound back. So I thought they both ran very well. They made excellent cuts in the line of scrimmage. Uh, we haven't done that. I mean, they, they made some runs when there wasn't something there. And, uh, and then when they had to run over somebody, they did. So uh, I was very, I mean, on the field, it was a physical, you know, nature to the game. I felt their, their safety had a long night. He, he really did. And uh, so it was a good, physical football game. Thought Philip Nelson played very well, except for one play that he'd like to have back. But, uh, you know, he executed the option pretty well. Uh, and uh, he'll continue to grow in the in the position, but uh, pleased with his progress also. We looked at it and we'll look at it in the film session as well, though. He just looks more and more comfortable at the line of scrimmage when he's making reads and making audibles. Not sure what he's seeing, but it looks like he's getting you into what you want to get into. Yeah, and, and I think that's the whole critical piece of playing quarterback. You, either got to look at the line of scrimmage and look to the sideline. and But if you can make the calls out on the field, it goes so much quicker and smoother uh, with the kids up front. So, yeah, he did a real good job of getting us in the right place most of the time and, uh, you know, executed, uh, you know, pretty well. And, uh, and and really, you know, people don't know how deceptive uh, speed-wise he is. He's, he, he can run a little bit. So uh, he had a good evening and, uh, you know, hope to see him continue to improve. You ever, he, he's not afraid to be physical there when he gets a safety or even an outside linebacker on the edge. Uh, encourage that? Is that something to worry about? Well, I like, you know, you got to you gotta run smart. I think all the kids that we've had before, uh, except for Jordan Lynch. Jordan Lynch has run over you, you know, but we've told him not to do that either. You know, you want to get down when, when you need to get down and be smart, but uh, I don't think you're ever going to tell Philip that. I mean, he's going to go out there and play. That's why he played in high school and 
And, uh, you know, that's the way Mitch Leitner plays and Chris Strebler, all three of those kids are similar in, in the way they play. Uh, Marcus Jones for two straight weeks has had a return, a kickoff return and then a punt return uh, this past week. And he looks like he's got that, he's got soft hands, first of all, but he looks like he's got a little bit of a feel there and, and that he doesn't overrun things. He, he's not afraid to hesitate and be a little bit patient, let something open up. He's just, he's just a good football player. He played corner pretty well in the game, too. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but uh, he's getting more and more confidence in what he does. And our return teams did a great job downfield blocking. Logan Hutton had a critical block that a lot of people weren't aware of, but we had good execution. And uh, we, we got a little, you know, after they kicked the deep one and, and kicked it about 60 yards, we felt we needed to get two returners back there. And uh, we we're uh, fortunate enough to have some timeouts. That's why you don't waste them. And we got a timeout and made him punt the ball. And, and then, you know, we, we got a touchdown a few seconds later. So uh, it's good execution on Marcus's part, but uh, also his teammates. Yeah, and, uh, and when you do that and you get a lead, I know there were a couple times when, when New Mexico State did a couple things in the second half where they could have made the game close. I don't know if you mind that, but that's not a bad test for this team uh, once in a while to have to make a fourth and one stop or something like that. No no question. And, uh, you know, we didn't close. We're not used to be out. You know, we're up 30 to to uh, seven, something like that. And, and that's when you really got to go for the juggler and really get after And we, we haven't learned to do that yet. And we let people kind of hang around. But we did have a great fourth fourth down stop on the quarterback sneak, which was critical. Uh, we scooped and scored with Aaron Hill again on a, on a fumble recovery. And uh, what I was really proud of, and we haven't done it since we've been here, uh, is we had the ball on our own five yard line. It was 13 to seven uh, going into the win and we drove it 95 yards to score. And we haven't done uh, that since we've been here. And so all those things add up to confidence with the kids is that, hey, we can do this. When we return, Mike Max will join Coach Kill in the film room to break down the top gopher plays from Saturday's game. Pushes the linebacker right up to the, the, the guard and then bounces the ball, and then uh, that's, that's a pretty physical football player. And still to come, an exclusive preview of Brick by Brick, an all-access, behind-the-scenes web series about your Golden Gophers. <laughs>